y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Shanika E and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I distress all of my thrifted denim I'm also going to be showing you how I plan on styling each of these denim items so if that seems like something you may be interested in think about hitting that subscribe button before you leave also, if this is your first time stumbling on one of my videos, I do help you to elevate your home and your wardrobe using vintage or thrifted items. And in today's video, we doing that. All right, ladies, before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my outfit of the day, and then I'll jump into how I distress my denim for the summer. All right, ladies, this is my OOTD for the day. I am completely obsessed with this look. It is so comfortable, so chill, yet super, super sexy. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the details for this outfit from the bottom up. So on the bottom, I have on my green shoes. I picked these shoes up from Ego, if they're still available. I will link them in the description box below. I have them paired with this distressed pair of vintage Lee jeans. These Lee jeans were thrifted and I distressed them myself. So if you want to get tips on how to distress your denim, make sure you stay tuned. I will be giving tips throughout this video. I have paired it with this black thrifted men's top. I love the oversized feel to it. Very comfortable, very chill. Um, I have a bandeau top underneath that I picked up from Shein. All of my necklaces are, well actually, yes, all of the necklaces are from Amazon. The earrings are from Target and the sunglasses are from Amazon as well. Loving the pop of green. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, and let me not forget my bag. I picked this up from Forever 21. It is a Bottega inspired bag. Absolutely love it, super, super cute. And yes, that is the completed look. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of my outfit of the day. All right, ladies, this is the first denim item that I picked up from Smyrna Thrips for $5.45. These denim shorts are from the men's section and they're made of 100% cotton, which is going to be a trend throughout the video. More on that later. I love the oversized fit of these. It's going to give a very relaxed, effortless look, which we are going for. I'm gonna go ahead and begin stressing using this makeup pencil. It is light enough for me to see where I'm going to cut, but it's also washable. I've also placed my inspo pick on the screen for you guys. That is another pro tip. Before you start just cutting away at your denim, make sure you have an inspiration pick so that as you're cutting, you kind of have a guide for your end point if that makes sense so i am making these smaller lines above where i'm going to make my initial cut these smaller lines are going to help me to get that very frayed look towards the end of the shorts Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I created my marks, they were a little bit uneven. So a way that you can make sure that both sides of your shorts are even is to simply fold it over after you make your initial cut so that you know both sides are even and good to go. I am using very <laughs> dull craft scissors is all I had in the house. So make sure you have a good pair of scissors to use so that your cuts are nice and straight and your overall look will look much better if you have a good pair of scissors. Once those lines are cut, you're going to see small pieces of fabric that are kind of hanging on after you've made your initial cuts. You're gonna take those small pieces of fabric and you're going to pull them in the opposite direction. This is just going to help you further to distress the item. Now, once you put them in the wash and in the dryer, they will distress on their own. This just kind of gives them a little boost or a head start. And the more you wash, the more the fringing is going to come through. Here are the results from the first DIY thrift flip. I am super excited about these shorts. I feel like they came out just as I expected. Very relaxed, very chill, very, very cute. 
I'm going to be showing you guys two different ways to style these shorts. I'm going to dress them up as well as dressing them down. And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the details for this particular outfit starting on the bottom. On the bottom, I have on my black ego shoes. If they are still available, I will link them in the description box below. I have them paired with this 100% leather blazer i thrifted this back in the fall from park avenue thrifts i don't remember the price but i know it was no more than 10 bucks i paired it with this simple white crop top that i got from shein and this cute little crossbody bag that i thrifted i am obsessed with it it has a nice little gold gator on it super super cute let me know in the comments down below what you think of the shorts and outfit number one. It is giving me all of the summer date night vibes. For look number two, I decided to give you guys a more casual approach to these shorts. I really love the way this outfit turned out. I can see myself going to a backyard barbecue with this look, going to play, you know, some putt putt golf, top golf, whatever the casual occasions, baby, we ready in this outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the details from the bottom up. On the bottom, I have my Air Force Ones paired with some nice thick slouch socks. I did thrift these slouch socks from, I believe, Park Avenue Thrift. I have them with the denim shorts that I distressed and an oversized button up from the men's department. This was also thrifted from Park Avenue Thrift. Ladies, pro tip. If you do not have an oversized button up from the men's department, please get you one i mean like this week they're super versatile they come a dime a dozen in the thrift store and you can get them as low as about two dollars and 99 cent i've paired this button up with a white sports bra just to keep with that effortless chill relaxed look topped it off with one of my husband's baseball caps i believe he picked this one up from zara and then adding in the white bag from Forever 21 to complete the look. Let me know in the comments down below, which look would you guys go for? The dressier or more casual look? So the second item that I've decided to distress for you guys is a vintage pair of Levi's. These are also thrifted from Smyrna Thrift from the men's department. They're made of 100% of cotton, which is going to be a trend throughout this video. 100% cotton simply distresses way better. It's going to give you more of that frayed look that you are looking for. So I'm gonna start off using that same pencil and making the marks on my knees where I would like the distressing to be. And as you can see, my inspiration pick is here. So just the knees blown out and a couple of slits in the back and we are good to go. Pro tip, hopefully you guys are noticing how each of these pair of denim items are fitting. I absolutely loved a nice, relaxed, lived in look, especially based on my shape. I have bigger thighs, a good size butt, and so I want my items to just kind of skim over my body. I do find that a more relaxed, looser fit makes the outfit more elevated and when it's tighter it kind of cheapens the look in my opinion here you can see me simply cutting out all of the marks that i initially made with that makeup pencil and after that you'll see me taking those frayed bits and pulling them out again to help to further distress the piece even though once you put it in the wash it's going to distress on its own but this is just going to give you a quicker result other than washing the denim multiple times if that makes sense <laughs> Thank you. 
Once I have followed those first two steps, which is cutting along the marks that I've created and then further distressing by pulling the pieces of fabric out, I am going to do the same thing for the other leg as well as the slits that I've created in the back. Here is the finished product for the second denim item that I have chosen to distress for this video. Remember ladies, please do not sleep on the men's department. These Levi's were thrifted from the men's department and I could not be happier with the outcome. I loved, again, <laughs> the very relaxed oversized fit of these denim pants. It is just super, super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you the details of this outfit, starting from the bottom up. On the bottom, I have those same black heels that I picked up from Ego. Of course, my distressed denim. This top that I have on, I thrifted from Park Avenue Thrift. A few thrift hauls back. I will link the video down below for you guys. And I've added that same purse from the first outfit. I am obsessed with the simplicity of this outfit. And as you can see, this is what the back of the jeans look like with the slits. Now you can make those slits a little bit higher if you choose to, but for me, this is about as high as I will go. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the second denim item. I've decided to show you guys a different way to style up these gorgeous denim pants. So I like this look, it's more of a casual, relaxed look. I understand that not every day you're gonna wanna throw on your heels. So this outfit screams, I'm just going to chill with my girls, have a drink, very cute, stylish, kind of Hailey Bieber vibes. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the details for this entire outfit. So I'm gonna start with the bottom. On the bottom, I have these Jordan 1s. I believe my husband got these from StockX. Now I am not a, a big sneaker person, but I like what I like. So he picked these up for me. Um, I will try to find similar ones and link them below. Of course, pairing them with the distressed denim. The Forever 21 Bottega inspired bag my white sports bra and the same men's button up from the first outfit and the jewelry is all from amazon and the earrings are from target and i decided to bring a different color into the vibe kind of bring us into summer by adding on the blue sunglasses and these sunglasses are from shein <laughs> All right, for my third denim item, it is going to be yet another pair of denim jeans. These are from the women's department. They fit very well, but still gives me a lot of room in the waist. My inspo pick is here, and I'm going for just a nice little tie around the ankle. So we're only going to have to do one cut at the bottom of each leg, and we're going to be using that leftover fabric to create our bow. So here's another overall look at the denim pants. I thrifted these from Park Avenue Thrift for $5.45. These are vintage rider jeans, which are associated with the Lee brand, one of those iconic 90s brands. And it is also made up of cotton, but just below 100% at about 98%. So this is what I was talking about earlier as far as making one cut and then using the fabric from that cut to create your bow. Super easy, super, super cute. This is how they turned out. 
I love this look. I think it is absolutely adorable, very lived in, very chic. Like you did enough, but not too much. So on the bottom, I have my Bottega inspired mules. I picked these up from Boohoo. They are no longer available, but I will try to find similar ones and link them below. I have them paired with the denim and this bag that I thrifted from the Goodwill for $4.99. It is originally a Steve Madden bag, super cute, very casual. And I have added on one of my summer essentials, which is a graphic tee. I love a good graphic tee with denim in the summer. It is an unbeatable combination. And this particular tee came from Five Below. Sometimes your graphic tees can get a little bit expensive. So if you're on a budget, look in the thrift store. If those are a little bit too ratty and old for you, head on over to Five Below, you'll find something. Let me know what you guys think of this nice little bow tie at the ankle. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling it. It's very feminine in my opinion. All right, ladies, for my fourth and final denim item is going to be these denim shorts that I thrifted from the women's department. They were $4.94 and they are by yet another iconic 90s brand, which is Wrangler. Now, throughout this video, I've been talking about the oversized fit and how it is just a little bit more flattering to my frame in my opinion. However, every once in a while, I will come across a pair of denim jeans that fits to the T and I cannot say no. And these are definitely it for me. It is kind of like that dad slash mom short and I am really feeling the Bermuda cut. This is what they look like styled up and I'm gonna give you guys the details from the bottom up. On the bottom, I have on these white mules. I picked these up from Shein. I have an entire video dedicated to shoe trends. So if you're interested, I will link it in the comments down below. I have paired it with this beautiful 100% silk blazer that I've thrifted as well. This is a part of a suit and I am obsessed with the color green. It The color green is just on trend this summer and I cannot get enough of it. I kept this look very simple by adding my white Bottega inspired bag that I picked up from Forever 21, a white crop top from Shein, and the sunglasses are from Shein as well. Love the overall look. Sometimes the denim just fits so good the first time around that no alterations are needed. And that's what I feel about this Bermuda shorts. Let me know what you think of these shorts and this outfit in the comments down below. All right, ladies, that's it for me this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and got some tips on how to distress your denim this summer. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. And I want to give a huge thank you to all of my new subbies. I appreciate you all so much. And thank you for going on this ride with me. There is more bomb content to come. All right, ladies, see you all next week. Mm -hmm.